good evening students here we will discuss the upsc ecds 1 okay in the recently happened the question so very important you may expert in the upsc civil service examination also so therefore let us see this question i will teach you four methods here so learn this uh, four methods what is the digit at the under place of a number 225 volt power 40 here let me tell you the method one so method one it's a simple method or it's a school method you can easily you can now solve this one for example here 225 double power 40 right here x square can be written as x into x like this 40 times you can now write and multiply here try to understand you do not have to put up 40 times just try to understand the pattern 225 into 225 so which is equal to if you multiply this one you will get a 50625 now try to understand get the last three digit the question related to the hundred place of a number so the four focus on in this area now I am just multiplying this with the three times which means we have to multiply 2 to 5 again with the, this 5 0 6 2 5 okay or else you can write like this 5 0 6 2 5 into 2 2 5 so if you are multiplying in this pattern that is also completely fine here also just multiply you will get a 6 to 5 the remaining places you do not have to bother you need to focus here with this place even if you multiply four times also you will get a six in that under place even if you multiply five times also you will get a six in the under place the question also focusing with the under place simply you can answer a option six is the under place so this is the one method then let me teach you the method two simple method for example take the last two digit last two digit of this number a given number 25 into 25 so 25 into 25 becomes a 625 again you can multiply 25 into 25 into 25 15 4 times you will multiply 25 into 25 into 25 into 25 390625 so like this uh, keep on if you are multiplying 25 the whole power times except one because uh, if you are placing 25 the whole power one it is a two digit it is not a three digit so therefore focus with the three digit so every place you will get the six in the under place so this is also another method now i will teach you the third method also this uh, this method plays a very vital role Take the unit place concept here. 5 power 1, 5. 5 power 2, 25. You do not have to focus these two because these and all not gives you a three digit. So it gives you a single digit and two digits. So therefore don't focus on this one. Now you can focus this one. 5 cube becomes a 125. 5 power 4 becomes a 625. 5 power 5 becomes a 3125. 5 power 6 becomes a 1 5 5 power 7 becomes 7 8 1 2 5 5 power 8 becomes 3 9 0 6 2 5 in this way also you can able to do okay now suppose if you are doing in this way you need to understand one thing right 5 power odd 5 power odd 5 power odd gives you 100th place as 100 place as 1 right 5 power even gives you 100 place as 6 check your even 6 even 6 even 6 so in this format also we can able to do now see the power here power 40 is the even 
So therefore, even means 100 place here is nothing but a 6. Okay. Suppose if the question contains the power 41, 43 like that. Odd. Odd power means the 100 place will be 1. So the 4 method 3 also plays a very vital role. Okay. So focus on these things. I will teach you the fourth method. So in your classes, I taught you the remainder concept. Right. So one important PTR points to remember in the class I have mentioned. Right. You will get the last three digit last three digit of any number last three digit of any number are the same as the remainder as the remainder when it is divided by thousand so in this class i already mentioned about the remainder basics everything Okay, so here also you can do this one, right? When you divide a given number, right? Uh, it's a three-digit number. Means if you divide with hundred, you will get a two as the two-digit as a remainder. Two-digit as a remainder. So if you divide by a thousand, okay, then you will get the three-digit as a remainder. If it is a four-digit number, okay. So now this two twenty-five the whole power forty. Surely it's uh, beyond the four digit. The four uh, surely will get the remainder here, three digit. Okay, so now you can focus this one. Two twenty five the whole power forty divided by thousand. Now you can split these as a this two twenty five is nothing but twenty five into nine sir. So twenty five into nine sir the whole power forty by thousand. Right. Now, further you can uh, split this here. Okay. Further split this one. 25 can be written as 5 square. So, 5 square the whole power 40. 9 the whole power 40. You know this concept. A into B the whole power X is equal to A power X into B power X. So, therefore this concept also plays a very vital role. Okay. Now, divided by 1000. Now, we can eliminate, right, we can eliminate. So, for example, you can take this as a 25. Or else you can multiply this. Power to the power, it becomes a 5 power 80. 9 power 40 divisible by 1000. Right. Now, 5 cube, 5 cube is nothing but a 125. So you can uh, split like this 5 cube into 5 power 77 into 9 power 40 divisible by 1000. 5 cube is nothing but 125. So 125 into 8 times. So therefore, you can uh, 125 table you can uh, divide your so which becomes. Uh, Eight times. So in this method also we can do. So now whatever you have eliminated that we have to keep your right or else now listen carefully in the bracket you can write like this. So here thousand you can keep right. So in the bracket you can keep it as a five cube into eight. So one twenty five into eight. So now we are eliminating this five cube. Whatever you have eliminated. That has to be multiplied with the final remainder in your foundation class. I already taught these things. Okay. Eliminating 5 cube. So please be careful eliminating 5 cube. Now, this 5 power 77. So 5 power 77. So in this 5 power 77 also you can uh, write uh, in any other format. Okay. We can write in this format. 5 power 77 into 9 power 40 right so divisible by 8 so now understand this one eliminator that is very important now you know that uh, cyclicity concept and then uh, you know how to find a remainder in the format of uh, ax plus 1 the whole power n by a so that format also i taught you in your 
foundation classes now try to understand find it separately okay find it separately like 5 power 77 by 8 find the remainder of this one find the remainder then 9 power 40 by 8 find the remainder okay so very important now 5 power 77 right how can you express this how can you express this you have idea about uh, this one okay this can be written as in the format of a division algorithm if you know the division algorithm then that is completely fine now let me tell you one thing here what is phi square phi square is nothing but a 25 when uh, dividing with 8 you will get the plus 1 as the remainder so therefore phi square which is equal to 25 divided by 8 we will get the plus 1 as the remainder so that concept also you can write okay let me write it here so please uh, keep it so due to the space constraint i am writing here okay now try to understand this one so therefore actual power actual power you need to divide with the 2 so therefore 3 times 6 here 1 8 oh, sorry 1 7 then 8 times 16 so one is the remainder how can you write this one phi power the whole square by using the division algorithm the whole power 38 into phi power 1 divisible by 8 this phi square gives you 1 as the remainder just now we have found this one 1 as the remainder so therefore 1 into phi by 8 when the numerator is lesser than the denominator remainder is the numerator so therefore here the remainder is a phi in this case now the second case uh, you can take your the second case okay 9 9 can be written in the format of ax plus 1 by a the whole power n format because this can be written as 8 into 1 plus 1 divisible by a the whole power 40 if it is can be written means uh, what would be the remainder one is the remainder if you have learnt this and all now what is the final remainder so take the final remainder so let me write here so in your pdf please be careful while revising so in the final remainder what is the remainder one into phi whatever you have eliminated that also you have to multiply your phi cube so this is nothing but phi power 4 the 5 power 4 is nothing but 625. So, this is the final remainder. What is that? 100 place here. 100 place here is 6. So, therefore, in this model also we can do. If you are having any doubt, you can ask. Okay, or else we will move on to the next problem. Very important problem. Please learn, learn, learn. Okay.